much for that. Meantime, thousands of blue jelly-like creatures have been washing ashore on Southern California beaches. Experts say it's normal for them to show up in the spring, but not as many as they're seeing out there this year. As NBC4's Ted Chen reports, the increase could have something to do with climate change. Behind this tank is what we call the Jelly Lab. It's in places like the Jelly Lab at the Aquarium of the Pacific where experts are studying what's been happening at Southern California beaches. Blue jelly-like creatures showing up by the thousands. Their scientific name is Valella Valella. It's a jellyfish relative, um, so they're related to things like sea nettles. It's what we call a hydrozone, uh, meaning that uh, it has an alternating life cycle. The Valella Valella are nicknamed by the wind sailors because they're dependent on the wind and their tiny sails to move around the ocean. Aquarium of the Pacific aquarist Josh Wagner says they show up in big numbers during spring as the ocean warms and produces more bacteria. We get a bacterial boom, which causes uh, lots of nutrients to be in the water. And so more nutrients, is, is there's more things to eat. Um, and if there's more things to eat, there's more reproduction. Wagner says the wind then pushes more of them ashore where they lose their blue color and die. He says although climate change has possibly caused them to show up in larger numbers, their appearance isn't all that unusual. Still, he says it's probably not a good idea to pick them up. The sting is relatively weak uh, compared to some of the other jellies. Um, if you touched it with your hands, generally, unless you have an allergic reaction, you probably wouldn't notice. Any jelly you find at the beach washed up and you think it's dead, it's better just to leave it as is. In Long Beach, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.